Do you like it? <laughs> My witch's hat for this year? I quite love it. It's very pointy. <gasps> There's a couple of really neat stories about witches' hats and why it is that the conical hat like this has become iconic for witches. And it might not be what you think. It turns out that there is a philosophy, a belief that the cone is the perfect shape for connecting to the divine. And one of the stories is that witches and warlocks, I suppose, um, wore pointy hats like this as a way of connecting to the divine. Also, you can hide things in a hat like this. So your black cat, your potions, uh, your herbs, your jewels, who knows? <laughs> it's a very practical thing to be wearing, isn't it? <laughs> it also brings out my inner witch. And my inner witch, and yes, I do call myself a witch. My daughters are very specific that I'm a good witch. And, and I agree. What, how my witchiness comes out is in my ability to manifest, to use magic, which is simply transformation, right? I mean, magic is taking two ideas or two beliefs or two substances, putting them together and creating something new something different. And sometimes that is a new belief, a new expectation, a new dream, a new goal, a new desire. And sometimes it's a new unction. It's a new oil. It's a new, I don't know, what would you call it? Like a new, yeah, a new lotion, unctions and potions. <laughs> and you know, the, the potion, the unction, the oil, it's there to help remind you of what it, what your intention is, of how you want to change something in your life or how you want to make a difference in your life. Having said that, as you know from watching Magic Mystery and Medicine, uh, I each time I like to share with you something that I've created out of my essential oils. And today I've got a couple of really special things for you. So then I, when I first started doing Magic Mystery and Medicine, I shared with you a face cream recipe that, and I talked in the, in the video about not only the physical things that these oils are, are supposed to help us with, but also the emotional areas of our lives that can be impacted by working with these particular oils. And let me just find that. Oh, here it is. So that that uh, face lotion that I created before about about a month ago now had vitivir, kunzia, myrrh, elemi, jasmine, carrot seed and frankincense in it in a coconut oil base. It was beautiful, so luscious. When I finished using that one, I wanted to try something else. So the one that I'm working with right now, I'm loving it, loving it. So it's again the coconut oil. Um, this time it's Kirkland's coconut oil. So it has a very coconutty smell to it as well. And then organic avocado oil. And the avocado oil just makes it so smooth when it goes on my skin. I absolutely love it. And then to that, I've added myrtle, myrrh, elemi again, and copaiba. I think that's how you pronounce it. These are all really great oils for your skin. They're anti-irritating, um, anti-spasmodic, anti-fungal. They've got lots and lots of different properties. But what I want to share with you also is the emotional way, oops, let me get my, my glasses, the emotional ways in which these oils can be helpful. So you understand why I chose them to be in this particular version. So let me just find them here. Um, Myrtle. So myrrh. Myrrh uh, is mentioned in one of the oldest known medical records dating back to the 16th century BC or BCE. Uh, it was used for many skin conditions such as trapped, uh, chapped and cracked skin and wrinkles. And Hildegard also lists it uh, for in her book as well. So, okay, medical properties, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, analegic so it's got a bit of painkiller in it too which is kind of interesting the the influences of it is that it is meant to help promote spiritual awareness and is uplifting it stimulates the limbic system of the brain which is the center of memory and emotion so if you're working with uh, emotions that are coming from memory this could be a really good oil to work with it, funny that it would go into the face cream too um I'm just realizing now there's a lot of energy that we put into our appearances 
I mean, why am I making these lotions anyways? I'm making them because I want my skin to look good. I want it to be healthy. I want it to be clean. And I want it to be youthful. And that's, that's in all honesty. And I don't want it to be full of chemicals. So that's why I'm making these myself instead of going out and buying a product um, over the counter. And, and the fact that it's... Can it's connecting to how I feel about myself that connects to memory. And as I'm saying this, it, I'm thinking about you know what my expectations were when I was a child about aging. I always thought my mother was the most beautiful woman on the planet, and then she would complain, she'd point out her wrinkles and say, No, no, honey, I'm getting old. And I didn't understand what she was talking about. And I decided that I always wanted to have a different kind of relationship with aging. I wanted to embrace getting older. And for the most part, I have. But there are certainly days when I wake up and I look at my skin and I go, oh, wait a minute, what's going on? What's going on? Where did these come from? I think that's just human nature. So if working with myrrh in a, in a lotion like this can help me to work with the emotional part of that, then great. I think that's amazing. Um, so also hormonal thyroid and growth hormones is connected to myrrh. I guess it's the balancing of them or the well-being of them. Interesting. And then myrtle is also for normalizing hormonal imbalances of the thyroid and ovaries. So here are two oils that at the physical level have an impact on our hormonal balancing. I think that's awesome. If I'm going to be putting it on my face, I definitely want that for sure. And then, um, myrtle itself is euphoric and uplifting. So both of these oils are meant to help with well-being and happiness and healing memory. And then at the physical level, there's the hormonal balancing, which is great, as well as all the beautiful skin qualities that, um, that these oils have. And then Elemi, and I bought this one particularly because of its influence on our skin both for myself and for my daughters. My daughters both have dermatitis and they have all their lives and they will probably outgrow it. It's certainly getting a lot better on my older daughter, but nonetheless, it's still something that they that they have. And so their skin gets very dry and it gets quite bumpy. And LME is supposed to be really good for helping with that. So let me just find LME in here. I'm almost there. Give me two seconds. There it is, okay. So, oh, hundreds of years. It's been used for hundreds of years for salves, for skin, and is included in celebrated healing ointments such as Balm Paralatique. Okay, well, I don't know what that is, but it sounds very impressive, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, it's been used on the battle wounds of soldiers, and it belongs to the same family as frankincense. And frankincense, as we know, is really excellent for your skin. Uh, skin used for skin care for reducing fine lines, wrinkles, and improving skin tone, antispasmodic, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic. And it's, it says here, it's spicy incense-like fragrance is very conductive towards meditation, can be grounding and used to clear the mind. Well, I sure know that in the morning, I need to have my mind clear. So I think that's a great one to add to it. And then lastly, Copayaba, 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 <laughs> somebody will correct me on that, I'm sure. This has been used for, for a very long time, for hundreds and hundreds of years, for all types of pain, uh, internal uh, it says stomach ulcers and cancers, external skin disorders, insect bites. It's a Peruvian traditional medicine um, taken with honey. It's a natural sore throat remedy. Hey, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Uh, Anti-inflammatory and antiseptic for kidney disorders, the bladder, and cystitis. In the treatment of urinary problems, stomach ulcers, uh, bronchitis, and tuberculosis. So it's also good for the, the chest area here. So anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, there's a whole bunch of things that it lists here. Anti, anti, anti. Uh, skin disorders, insect bites. Oh, this one doesn't talk about the emotional part of it. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, well, no doubt it has some. <laughs> what I also know about it is that it is it helps to uh, emphasize the efforts or emphasize the... Um, effects of other oils. So it takes an oil and it helps it to be even better for us, if that makes sense. So anyhow, that's a whole bunch of information about the skin cream that I've made that I'm now using for myself. And then the other one that I wanted to share with you is a grounding and balancing blend that I created. And this one I mixed in with bath bubbles. So I've got these unscented bath bubbles and I mixed these drops into the bath bubbles and then poured it into the bath. And that is sage, myrtle and thyme. 
Time has so many properties, many of which are, again, like a lot of the kitchen herbs, anti-inflammatory, antispasmodic, antifungal, antibacterial, excellent as a cleaning oil. Uh, put a little bit of thyme oil in a spray bottle and then use that to do your countertops. It's it's amazing. Myrtle we've just talked about and sage is one of the classic herbs and it's got all sorts of wonderful calming properties to it. So sage, myrtle and thyme in your bath bubbles. Make sure you mix them in the bath bubbles first, not dropping them in the water and then putting in the bath bubbles because you want the oil to disperse in, in the bath bubbles. Otherwise you, it sticks to your skin and it can be uncomfortable, it can be painful. And then lastly, I want to show you something really cool that I've done. I have this product that I use all the time. I've used it for years. It's called uh, Instant Age Rewind Maybelline. It is over the counter, but I love it because it's a, it's a really nice just cover up um, for dotting on <laughs> bags <laughs> or spots. Um, and I was reading about frankincense and learning that frankincense is really good to put around your eyes. It helps with eyesight issues as well as the delicate tissue that's around your eyes, the skin tissue that's around your eyes. And I wanted to put a few drops in here. So I was trying to take the lid off, but it turns out that I, I can't do that without breaking the bottle. So then it occurred to me what I could do is take a few drops and put it right here on the surface of the sponge. Oh my God. So now it smells amazing. It smells like frankincense. And then what I can do with it is just dot, 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 rub it in. And I've taken two taken care of two things at one time. So there's just so many fun and easy ways that we can work with the essential oils. And I'm really happy that I get to share them with you. So I would say that this episode of magic, mystery and medicine is a more focused on the medicine of essential oils and different ways that you can use them both for skincare and for a beautiful sense of well-being. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy your Halloween. And I'll be with you again very soon. Bye now.